Come to me, Novena, Daily Prayer 1. Lord Jesus Christ, by your patience in suffering, you hallowed earthly pain and gave us the example of obedience to your Father's will. Be near me in my time of weakness and pain. Sustain me by your grace, that my strength and courage may not fail. Heal me according to your will, and help me always to believe that what happens to me here is of little account if you hold me in eternal life, my Lord and my God. Amen. Daily Prayer 2 Lord, look upon me with eyes of mercy. May your healing hand rest upon me. May your life-giving powers flow into every cell of my body and into the depths of my soul, cleansing, purifying, restoring me to wholeness and strengthen for service in your kingdom. Amen. Daily Prayer 3 Lord, please heal my broken heart. Fill me with the peace and joy I know can only come from you during this hard time. Walk closely beside me during my journey to healing and recovery that I know is possible through your power alone. In Jesus' name, amen. Come to me, Novena, Day 12. Day 12 Reflection. There is hope. Scripture reference, Job chapter 14, verse 7. For there is hope of a tree, if be cut down, that it will sprout again, and that the tender branch thereof will not cease. Verse 8. Though the roof thereof wax old in the earth, and the stalk thereof die in the ground. Verse 9. Yet through the scent of water it will bud and bring forth bugs like a plant. There is always hope. We can observe destructive elements at work in our world. The forces of darkness are unleashed upon the wicked and innocent alike. However, the children of righteousness will rise above the wickedness and allow the light of Jesus Christ to dispel the darkness. There is hope as long as that hope is in the power of the blood of Christ. Job, in his distress, declares that the tree is better off than a man. It may appear that the tree has been destroyed, cut at the base and fallen down, but the promise is that it will bring forth its tender branches again, though the stalk of the tree die in the ground and the root grow old in the earth. Though there is only the scent of water, it will bud and grow new branches. The future of the tree is in the hands of the Creator. The tree will produce its fruit in the will of the Creator. Job came to the understanding that his future was in the hands of God. He submitted his will to the will of the Creator. Therefore, he was able to proclaim in Job chapter 19 verse 23, Oh, that my words were now written. Oh, that they were printed in a book, verse 24, that they were graven with an iron pen and led in the rock forever. 25, for I know that my Redeemer liveth, and that he shall stand at the latter day upon the earth. Verse 26, and though after my skin worms destroy this body, yet in my flesh shall I see God. Our future is in the hands of God. He is fully aware of where we are and what our needs are. When we come to that understanding and submit our will to His will, He will take us to where He is going. He will renew our hope in Him. Scripture reference, 1 Peter chapter 1, verse 13. Wherefore, guard up the loins of your mind, be sober, and hope to the end for the grace that is to be brought unto you at the revelation of Jesus Christ. Jesus is coming soon. Be ready. Day 12 Prayer Father God, Lord God Almighty, Father of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, Almighty Creator Jehovah, I come in the name of your only begotten Son, Jesus. I thank you for the light of your understanding. Thank you 
for providential guidance and revelation. Thank you for the peace that surpasses all human understanding. Peace that is the experience of a right relationship with you. It is there that we take shelter from the raging storm of this world. Holy Spirit, for every ray of sunshine I see today, heal me of my coldness and darkness of heart. Fill me with your warmth and your light. Amen. Amen.